Good morning everyone. The verse for today is taken from the book of Ephesians chapter 6 verse 13. Therefore take up the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand in the evil day and having done all stand firm. Amen. We have been meditating or starting a program for our Sunday school children uh, around the armor of God. And when I've been reading this passage, you know, God reminded me how important it is that we need to think about all aspects of the armor. Because there are two things here Paul emphasizes. One is the whole armor of God and then having done all. So when we look at the whole armor, we know that we, you know, Paul refers to the helmet of salvation, the breastplate of righteousness, the belt of truth, sword, the word of God, the shield of faith and shoes that carry the good news of peace. And if you look at the previous verse, you can see that the devil comes in different forms and you see that, you know, it doesn't simply say, be careful because the enemy, but it talks about different forms the enemy comes in. It talks about authorities, it talks about rulers, it talks about cosmic powers, it talks about darkness, spiritual forces, and evil. So it looks like, you know, there are different ways that the devil comes and there are different types of evil forces around us. But the great thing is that as Paul, you know, highlights earlier in the book of Ephesians, that we have been seated in the heavenly places with Christ Jesus our Lord and every spiritual blessing has been given to us. Amen. So whatever form or uh, characteristic or force that you, we may think that the devil throws in our way, we need to draw encouragement from this fact today that God has given us every spiritual blessing and we are seated in the heavenly places. So nothing can really shake us. Amen. So as we go about today, I just want us to think about, okay, how are we using the whole armor that God has so graciously given us? How are we consciously engaging you know, in and or conscious about the spiritual warfare so we can engage in that with the tools that God has given us, not with our own abilities. Amen. And I pray that, you know, as we go about today, we can consciously meditate on this whole armor of God and the power and the grace that God has given us that we can stand and bring him glory, stand firm and be established for his glory. Amen. Our loving Heavenly Father, we thank you for this beautiful day. Thank you, Jesus, for that whole armor you've given us, Lord. Yes, Pastor, we are so protected, Lord. You are our defender. And here we are, Father, you've given us this armor and you've given us every spiritual blessing and you've given us this authority and you've given us, Lord, this special position, Father, that today we can rejoice and we can, Lord, confidently stand against anything that might come against us, Lord, with what you have given us, Father. We give you thanks, we give you glory and praise in the beautiful, sweet name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen.